As life begins to return to normal in New York City, so is the traffic. And tonight, commuters say it is not only an inconvenience, but an accident waiting to happen. CBS 2's Corey James live on the west side with a story you will see only on 2. Corey. And one man we spoke with says he is a boiler mechanic who is just trying to make a living and make it to his jobs on time. That's why he says he was in this bike lane earlier today because the traffic was just horrific. And folks who live in this area say they are not only worried about that, they are also worried about the honking and public safety. From the ground up. You can hear and see just how bad traffic is on 11th Avenue in Manhattan. Gridlock jams agitating drivers, some blocking the intersection, preventing pedestrians from safely getting across the street. As a pedestrian, do you feel safe? Not really. When I'm crossing the streets, no. Other people behind the wheel making the bike lane their lane. You know this is a bike lane? It even happened while we interviewed Cindy Smith, who was on a bike with her young daughter. Look, perfect example. The traffic is scary out here. Um, they got to do better. CBS 2 viewers sent us their video of just how bad it is. Here you can see a car driving down the sidewalk earlier this month. Then just a few days ago, a neighbor showed us a fire truck going against traffic on 10th Avenue to avoid heavy congestion. We caught a similar challenge for these first responders. <laughs> it took this ambulance with its sirens on almost two minutes to go one block. Um, it's ridiculous. Neighbors like Dave O'Halloran believes congestion pricing could reduce traffic by charging a fee to drivers commuting during peak hours. It, it will definitely, uh, it will definitely affect some people. I'm sure it's going to, it's going to change their mind. And that initiative has been in the works in the Big Apple, and opponents say it could target people who live out of state. But New Jersey Representative Josh Gottheimer is fighting back on that now. Wednesday, he filed an amendment to a transportation bill that would stop the MTA from getting federal transit grants from New Jersey drivers traveling into New York City. He told CBS2 in part, quote, New York is still trying to mooch off hardworking New Jersey commuters. But this New Jersey driver said he would pay the surcharge because he is tired of sitting in his car for almost an hour each day. So you would pay it? Yeah. We reached out to the MTA to get an update on the congestion pricing plan, but did not hear back. However, later we learned the agency's chief financial officer said in a board meeting Wednesday. We're not in a position now to really be needing absolutely at this time, point in time, the congestion pricing proceeds for the capital program. And back here live, obviously traffic much lighter in the evening. Now, the CFO you just heard from there was responding to someone who questioned him about congestion pricing, passing to help sustain the budget. He then said that money actually would not go towards the operational budget. Still, it is unclear where the MTA is in the process with congestion pricing and if and when it will actually happen. But now we're live here on the West Side. Corey James, CBS 2 News. All right, Corey, thank you.